let's plot velocity vectors and get a view similar to what I showed you in pre-analysis under expected trends. So I'll try to get a view that looks like that. Go to CFD post and to plot velocity vectors, select vectors and I'll call this velocity vectors and location is going to be periodic one and I'll leave the others as defaults. The variable is velocity so the vectors are going to show the direction of the velocity and the length is going to be proportional to the magnitude and I will say apply and turn off the pressure contours and if I zoom in here near the inlet using the right mouse button. Um, the vectors are a little too long, so I can go to symbol and decrease the size of the vectors to say 0.1. Okay, that gives me uh, shorter vectors. And I can see that I have uniform flow coming in and then, you know, the flow is speeding up at the um, axis and it gets slowed down at the wall. But I want to get a view that's more similar to the one I have in the PowerPoint and I can do that by creating a location. Um, so let me create a location first at a distance one diameter down from the inlet. So what I have to do is I go under location, line, and I'll call this axial location one and say OK. And for axial location one, I will say it'll go from um, a point one diameter down and our diameter is point two to zero, that's at the axis, and to the corresponding point at the wall. And that's going to be at uh, point one. And let me Put the number of you know leave the number of samples at ten. That'll give me ten vectors along that line, and say apply. And that adds that location over here, and I can see it over here. I can turn it on or off, um, but that's a good check. And this is reflected about the axis because we have the reflection turned on. <clears throat> and now I'll go back to velocity vectors and change the location where I want vectors to be plotted to axial location one and say apply. And if I go to render, now I want to make the symbols actually to symbols. I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I will say, I was playing around with this, 0.5 seemed to work well. And say okay. And if I change the symbol to arrow 3D, I got the um, the arrows at the end and let me you know create another location two diameters down um, so that we can compare what's happening as we move along the pipe so go back to axial location right click on it and say duplicate I'll call that axial location two, the default um, double click on it edit it and we just need to change that location to be two diameters down, which is 0.4. And say apply, and that creates that second location. And now I can go back to the velocity vectors and go over here and hold down the control key and select actual location two. So if you hold down control, you can select multiple locations and say okay, and then say apply. And let me translate this a little bit. And let me bring my um, PowerPoint side by side with this, this plot. I, now I have my PowerPoint side by side with the, um, with the corresponding plot from my CFD solution. And this location looks more like that. So you see there is, you know, the, the velocity is, is more or less uniform um, near the axis. 
which corresponds to here and then we'll see the slowing down near the wall and if you look carefully actually these are inclined downwards um, which has to be the case because you know we have mass uh, taken uh, mass moving away from the wall to to the axis um, as the the velocities you know slow down near the wall um, but so there's a slight radial velocity it's negative it's towards the um, the axis um, but it's going to be it's small compared to the axial velocity which is why that inclination is very subtle and this looks more like the parabolic profile so even you know two diameters down it's beginning to be close to the parabolic profile and that's because this Reynolds number is very um, very low so it's a very viscous flow and the boundary layers develop very very rapidly so I'll say file save project